Introduction While helping her grandfather in garden, Ella noticed Grandpa is stretching a piece of rope along the garden fence. What are you measuring, Grandpa? I am checking the height of my sunflowers. But Grandpa, you don't have any measuring tape. How will you measure the height with rope? No fancy tools here, dear. Let me show you an ancient method, but it works perfectly. See, Ella, this rope is marked with knots at specific intervals. What are these knots on rope, Grandpa? Each knot is one foot apart. That's such an easy method, Grandpa. Hold this end at the bottom of the stem, Ella. Ella holding the edge of rope at base point of plant. One, two, three, four, five. This sunflower is five feet tall. Wow, that's really tall. Of course, Ella, the plants are growing so well. Objectives. In this lesson, children will be able to apply measurement techniques to real-world tasks, such as decorating a classroom. Learn how to use hand pens to measure the length of objects. Learn how to use a measuring tape to measure the distance between two points. Understand the situations where informal measurements can be useful. Formal and informal measurement methods. Children are busy in decorating classroom on special occasion of Teacher's Day. Let's decorate our classroom for the party. Yes, yes sure. sure. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. It, it will, will be, be fun. fun. I will help with the blackboard decorations. I will decorate teacher table. Lena, I will join you in table decoration. Let's use a handspan to measure the table. My handspan is about 20 centimeters. Great idea, Lena. Let's see how many handspans long the table is. One, two, three. It's 8 handspans long. So, 8 times 20 centimeters is 160 centimeters. Correct. Our tablecloth should be at least 160 centimeters long. Yes. I think this ruler will help me measure the door. It is marked with centimeters and inches. The door is 200 centimeters tall. That's pretty high. How can we measure the distance between these two walls? We could use a measuring tape if we have one. Ibrahim, find a measuring tape and decide to use it. Let's stretch the tape from one wall to the other. Make sure it's straight so we get an accurate measurement. The distance is 500 centimeters or 5 meters. Awesome! Now we know how big our classroom is. Everything looks great. We did a fantastic job. And we learned a lot about measuring too. Summary In this lesson, we have learned To apply formal and informal measurement methods in practical situations, enhancing comprehension of measurement concepts. Importance of accuracy in measurement while using rulers and measuring tapes. To practice converting informal measurements, such as hand spans, into standard units, centimeters. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions, and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.